Despite being talented at art, Joey's flunked out of college and spent the last year drinking his life away. I just feel a bit like I don't really have much direction. And I think that's partly why I, I do like sort of go out and get wasted because it's like you don't have to think about reality, you just sort of escape it. 17 year old Shola Bruce Coker only cares about how she looks. My mum told me to stop dyeing my hair because it's damaging it and that, but she can't really do anything. She doesn't like Shola's behaviour. But beleaguered mum, Andrea, always backs down, even fixing Shola's hair extensions. It's maybe time I'm such a sucker, I should just say no and stick to it. Since leaving school and starting college, Shola's had a major image overhaul. In the second school, we had to be like, all wearing the same, we had to have plain hair, it was all boring. And then like the summer after that, I just went a bit mad. And then ever since then, I just like, like being unique and different. It's been every colour but green or grey. I just think she goes for shock value. She wants to shock people all the time with her appearance, her language. She's always been a very confident girl, always been very sure of herself. She loves to stand out in a crowd. She loves to be the centre of attention. Shola's parents split up when she was 10, and she and brother TJ live with their mum. It's complicated for ages, but I, did, I didn't really, like, mind. I knew it was coming. I'm not really bothered because I still see both of them. So. Mum Andrea works shifts and has no time for Shola's laziness. My room's so messy, man. I actually do need to tidy it up. I just can't be bothered. She doesn't believe that she has to work for anything. Everything should be given to her. <laughs> Having done OK at GCSEs, instead of hitting the books, Shola now prefers to hit on the boys. She's just done exams. I've never seen her do any revision. She seems to think she's failed already before she's even got the results. <laughs> now Andrea is at her wit's end. Shola, get in now. Do you want environmental health friend again? If this is how she's spending her free time, I'm glad I've seen it here in my own home to know that she's even more out of control than I thought she was. Uh, <laughs> I love this girl. Yeah, me. <laughs> the party doesn't start till I get there. In rural Wales, 18-year-old Joey Birch is binge drinking to hide his extreme shyness. He's a rebel. He's a rebel. <laughs> Your inhibitions go away, so it's easier to like talk to people, to make new friends, to make conversation. Parents Linda and John moved to the Welsh Valleys, thinking it's an idyllic place to raise their kids. But Joey, youngest of two boys, struggled to make friends. Unfortunately for him, there was nobody around the area of his age or that he got on with. He was very much a loner, and suddenly now he's gone the opposite way. He's got a large circle of friends uh, who we, we know very little about, to be truthful. Oh, yeah! Despite being talented at art, Joey's flunked out of college and spent the last year drinking his life away. I just feel a bit like I don't really have much direction. And I think that's partly why I, I do like sort of go out and get wasted because it's like you don't have to think about reality, you just sort of escape it. When he's at home, he drinks openly during the day. I get mixed up with all the other things. Well, why bother even trying to keep up then? Obviously, you say, like, oh, who was you with last night? It's like, oh, it's, they're just names to you. You don't know them, so it doesn't really matter, well, does it? Maybe I don't know them because you never bring them home. Well, yeah, yeah, I've had mates. Oh, I've got a good sort of Feeling guilty about his lonely childhood, Joey's parents let him get away with murder. Why are we worried about you? Am I supposed to feel guilty about that? And ferry him to and from his all night parties. If his life's so shit that all he wants to do is go out and get wasted and that's the only time he can enjoy himself, then that makes me feel bad. As a parent, it makes me feel bad. To get the troubled teenagers back on track, their families are sending them to live with super strict parents on the other side of the world. Please be good. I will. Behave yourself, I Charlotte. Will. No, I'm not joking. Behave. Don't die. I just hope she comes back better behaved. Living 200 miles from Heathrow, Joey's saying his goodbyes at his front door. Goodbye, super. 
I hope that he learns to be a bit more respectful to us and to appreciate the things that he's got. Sometimes it takes a bit of a shock to the system. We'll sort of let him see just how fortunate he has been. Hiya. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.